India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, is all set to land on the moon today at around 6.04 p.m. Now, the spacecraft is now just a few hours away from its final destination and the moon's south pole. If the mission is successfully completed, India will become the fourth country to master the technology of soft landing on the lunar surface after the US, China and the erstwhile Soviet Union. Now, India will also become the first country to reach the unexplored largest south pole of the moon. Ahead of the historic landing, ISRO yesterday released new pictures exuding confidence of a successful soft landing. The live telecast of the landing operations will begin at 5.20 p.m. according to Indian Standard Time. The link for the live streaming has also been shared and is available on ISRO's official website. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is on an official visit to South Africa to attend the BRICS summit, will also join the Chandra Rayan 3 landing program virtually. Now, India's mission moon budget 615 crore, 615 crore that is the big budget for this entire mission. The journey is of 42 days, the rover's life is of 14 days, distance covered remains to be 3.84 lakh kilometers. So right from the launch till both the deboost faces, uh, we have seen everything going according to the plan. Just a step left. What do you anticipate, sir? Well, I think uh, uh, I mean, what I feel is we will have a soft landing. We are already at the 25 kilometers perigee. So in around uh, 753 kilometers, you know, total distance from the point where the total uh, system is getting activated and to landing, it's around 753 kilometers. And since there are uh, equipments like a laser Doppler a velocity meter, uh, you know, there is a camera, so hazard uh, detection and avoidance camera. There is a cab and uh, uh, altimeter, which will find out the uh, altitude or height within few centimeters. There is a laser altimeter, which can give in uh, less than a centimeter. So all these off and front cameras are there. In fact, the other interesting bit that I want to ask you is, uh, it will also leave an imprint of ISRO and the Indian flag on the yes. surface of the moon. Yes. Till now, we don't know whether the flag will be there or not. Ah. But the rover rear wheels, you know, right wheel has got a ISRO emblem. Left wheel has got the, you know, our Rajya Jin hmm. uh, Ashoka emblem. So, it will be left in when it goes up to 50 meters or so. And since the sand is very fine, hmm. see, it, it can sand can vary from 250 micrometers, hmm. microns to a few microns. Hmm. And uh, in that one, so imprints will be there. Since there is no atmosphere, for centuries together, those imprints will be there. So, uh, we will have our imprint there. Yeah. That's all. Sir, since you were also part of the LEOS system uh, yes, center yes. here in uh, Bengaluru, yes. I want to ask you about the onboard cameras that are on the lander and the rover. How important are they, sir? One. And second, ISRO also recently pointed out that most of it has been developed in-house. Yeah, correct. See, mainly in ISRO, uh, we have two uh, main uh, centers for developing these cameras. One is in the uh, space application center that is Ahmedabad, hmm. which makes all the remote sensing cameras. And uh, the other uh, electro-optical based instrumentation, uh, many of the things are developed in uh, the laboratory for electro-optic systems in Bangalore. Hazard detection camera, hazard, hazard detection and avoidance camera. See, this camera becomes very important because now this time when we are landing, uh, it is not in sing one single phase. There are some three, four phases. One is the uh, rough braking phase where you are trying to reduce the uh, velocity, which is on the both the you know, horizontal and uh, vertical components. Uh, then you enter into some attitude hold phase, mm. where you stay there and try to slowly orient the uh, lander uh, vertically, that is the thrust mm. vector has to become vertical. Mm. And then, then you enter the rough braking phase, where you come from say about 7 kilometers to 800 um, meters or so. And then from there you 
uh, come to the uh, s still lower altitude that is 150 meters. During these phases, uh, especially during the last two phases, uh, we need to find out whether the see when we see the moon, it mm. is not uh, you know as we see very smooth. Uh, yeah. There are very large craters and uh, you know boulders and uh, you know uneven surfaces. Mm. So when we land, and uh, they can be many meters deep inside also. So definitely that uh, because uh, last time we could not achieve because we uh, till this phase we did very well at last time also. But uh, the landing portion only we could not achieve properly. So definitely that's what uh, this time it's a very, very, very anxious moment. Everybody is working I and mean, uh, looking it very anxiously for this event to happen. And uh, I am sure that this time it will be a grand success. Chandrayaan 2, compared to that, uh, is almost... So many things have been done. In fact, I won't be able to explain every detail which Chairman Isro himself has explained. About 80% changes are there. Weight itself is higher. Because they included quite a few things. Then they included redundancy in the engine, in the orbiter himself, so that uh, one engine, suppose something happens, etc. So the chances of success is exceedingly high. Chandrayaan 2, we had this uh, orbiter and uh, we uh, also had the lander and the rover and the testing which was carried out on the lander and the rover were to an average uh, extent and uh, we that could not do a soft landing it actually crash landed but in with respect to chandrayaan 3 we have this uh, a propulsion module which is actually orbiting and then we have this uh, lander and rover which will which is expected to soft land such a uh, uh, extensive testing and simulations have been done and therefore we expect that the uh, landing will definitely be achieved It will be a proud moment for every Indian. India, which was considered as a country which goes to many Western powers with a begging bowl, now has reached a stage where it can send its own uh, instrument to the moon and uh, like any other 140 crore people of this country, I am also waiting to see the Vikram land on the surface of the moon and the rover goes out and starts expeditions on the surface of the moon. So, for landing, say, if you see one way, then we don't have to go to the same place. We don't have to go to the same place. We don't have to go to the same place. But, you can see that this technique has been done. We have to go to the same place. We have to go to the same place. We have to go to the same place. So, we have to go to the same place. So, we have to go to the same place. We have to go to the same place. उसको सीख पाए हैं जिसके कारण हम इस प्रकार के कठिन मिशन पार कर पाएंगे तो ये तकनीक हम उपयोग करके भविष्य में अन्य विकट मिशनों में भी हम कार्य कर पाएंगे हमको अभी गगनयान प्रोग्राम करना है जिसमें हम आदमी को स्पेस में ले जाने वाले हैं ऑल फुट टुगेदर चंद्रयान टू एस गिवन इनफ फीडबैक फॉर द चंद्रयान थ्री कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एंड इट्स ऑनबोर्ड प्रोग्रामिंग एंड द सेंसर्स रेडेंडेंसी पॉइंट ऑफ़ यू एंड द थ्रस्टर लोकेशन सिलेक्शन ऑफ़ द लैंडिंग साइट एंड एस वेल एस द स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ़ द व्हील सो स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ़ द योर लेग्स सो दैट वे आई थिंक थिंग्स लुक दैट बेटर एंड सिमिलरली फ्रॉम जुलाई 14 टू नाउ आई थिंक एवरी इंस्टेंट एवरी मूव वाज कमिंग फॉर द मेन पाथ इटसेल्फ so indicating all the systems are okay. Even now after lander uh, separating from the propulsion module, also the first two maneuvers have gone reasonably well. Sabki nazare chanda mama ki taraf lagi hui hai. Hum prarthana kar rahe hain. Hamare vegyan ko ne jo parisram kiya hai. 